And welcome to She Shaves with your host, Jill. Mm-hmm. I am Jill. So, today is, boy, oh boy, is it a gloomy, chilly, and rainy day here in Florida. It's just like caca weather. So, what better thing to do than go have a relaxing, soothing, pampering shave. So, that's what I'm here doing. I am excited today because I have a new product. I got this around Christmas time and um, it had a few products in it that uh, I wanted to try. And it is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements PAA's uh, Starter Kit. And it's got everything in it that one would need and I will show you the elements. This is the sleeve that it comes in and it comes in a great presentation box. This is nice and hard cardboard. Comes in a great presentation box and it's got a magnetic uh, holding there and then it comes with this. Now I don't particularly need it but this is a starter kit so it comes with this and it has all the instructions that a new wet shaver would need. It's a very informative uh, pamphlet that comes with it. So that is there for the new shaver because, this, like I said, this is a starter kit. Now the items that are in it, try to do this so it doesn't fall, is um, the brush and the CAD, um, the CAD soap and the Symmetry Straight Bar Razor and Aftershave Lotion and two packs of blades. It's got Boshkan blades in it, a five pack, and it's got a five pack of Shark blades in it too. So one by one, let's take out the items. Now you've already seen me um, review the brush and this is a uh, uh, synthetic brush and uh, to resemble a horsehair brush and it's a it's called the triple brush it's a combination fan and bulb brush and it is called the um, green ray and there's the logo for it down there and I've used this before and I love this brush um, the second thing in it which is new to me is the symmetry straight bar Razor. Now, all I've ever seen is reviews on the straight, um, the uh, Symmetry Open Comb Razor. I've not seen any reviews on this particular razor, so this is a first for me. It's got great knurling because Doug Smythe uh, is a shower shaver, and he built this to his uh, specifications, so it would have really good grip, and it does. It is deep. Uh, in there and very attractive knurling on it and it does have their logo on the handle here and it's a three-piece razor it's a uh, solid brass with chrome plating and um, it's medium they say it's medium aggressive it weighs 88 grams and it's 3.75 inches high the handle is three and a half inches high so that is the razor we'll be using and the soap I'm going to be using is the CAD, and this is the CK6 formula, which I have not tried yet, so I'm so looking forward to this. Um, now, I reached out to Douglas, and I knew there was somewhere that I had seen the explanation as to how uh, CAD got its name. And uh, I reached out to Douglas, and he sent me an email back, and he says, uh, Hey, Jill, the CAD story goes like this. And there really is no blog post on it that I recall. But back in 2016, I did um, 
he decided to do a series of soaps that were based on the old classics, like Old Spice and Barbasol, etc. And this is based on the Barbasol. Um, and he called the Barbasol tribute Barbasol, S-O-U-L. And he was guessing that some trolls reported it to Barbasol. So a few days after his release, he got a cease and desist letter. Luckily, he had sold out the whole 500 tins of the batch that he did. So he changed the name to Barber Pole and released more the following week. Um, then they claimed that the barbershop stripes um, infringed on their trademark and were trying to shut down the release. They were clearly watching Douglas and what he was doing with it. They all... Um, um, no, what was that? Let's see here. Oh, they didn't realize that he was the designer and the creator of the labels uh, that he did in-house. So after the email, he redesigned the label again and took photos and replaced the image on the site. Then they claimed that the barber pole was uh, too close to the barber saw and that uh, he'd need, 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 bleh, need to change it again. Finally, he just changed it to CAD for the duality of the uh, uh, the wording. And knowing that they were watching him close, he also stuck an image of himself in a boat in the desert, signifying that he wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> he said, I mean, they didn't even do the original sin anymore. So that's the story. And every now and again, he said that uh, you'll be able to um, find a shave of the day uh, uh, with one of the alternate labeled soaps pop up or on eBay. So that's the story on how CAD, representing cease and desist, came about. So I am so excited to try this, like I said. It's a CK6 uh, uh, soap. And uh, based, of course, on Barbasol. And it's got, uh, oop, upside down. It's got talc, uh, rose, bergamot, oak moss, vetiver, corin, and musk in it. So I'm looking forward to that. And the kit also comes with a little bottle of the matching aftershave. So I will be using that. Aftershave and cologne so it's longer lasting than just a plain aftershave. So, I've already pre-prepped my face, but let me wet my face again. Now, the, um, of course, the synthetic brush doesn't need a long soaking like natural hair brushes do, but I am going to get it wet, nice and wet. And this uh, particular synthetic holds a lot of water in it. So, I usually overload my soaps, but I have been told and I have seen that you don't need a long load on this because um, it just creates the lather like crazy fast. So, I'm going to try to do a 15 second to 20 second load. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. Let me add a little bit more water. Now I'm overloading it, right? So there's the load on the brush. Fibers are sticking together. That should be plenty. So let me, let me grab a little bit of what's in there off the tub, do a little pre-shave with the Pro Lather. So I hope you guys are all having a nice weekend. For the fourth time in as many months, somebody has hacked my account again, so I have to wait for new cards and this is getting old
because I do all my bill paying online. Most of it I was able to change over to my checking account as opposed to my as opposed to my card. But it's very inconvenient because my bank account is frozen until I get my new cards. Okay. Good thing I have some food in the house. Well, it's laying down a very nice base here. Start out pasty and add the water as I go. So like I say, I hope you've been having a good weekend. No football. Looking forward to the Super Bowl though. Go to a party. And I'm just a Brady hater, so I hope the Patriots lose. I have been using just the tips of the brushes lately to um, create my lather. And then a little bit of splaying, not much. getting to the consistency that I want. It feels wonderful on the face. Wow. And it certainly seems to love the water. Look at that consistency. So this morning I was watching a lot of videos to people that I subscribe to. I didn't catch the Suffolk Shavers full live. Forgot to set an alarm for it. He did it at noon and I didn't get in there until after 12.30 or so. Look at that. Look at that lather. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is some nice lather. Okay. Now, I did forget to mention that uh, normally I would probably use a different blade in a new razor. Like, really sharp and effective, but I decided to go with one of the uh, uh, blades that he included, and that's going to be the shark blade I'm going to use in it. So, it's only single wrapped. And let's undo. Um, the original Symmetry Razor, the open comb, I guess there was a lot of problems with the blade lining up um, evenly on both sides. So I'm hoping that that's been fixed on this straight bar one. So let's see what it looks like. Hmm. Looks like that issue might have been resolved. Let's get that on there and check it out. It seems pretty even with, to me on both sides. Yep. All right, so let's get going with the shave. Warm up the razor. And do pass one. That's smooth so far. Now, 
as far as overhang, it does have a little bit of overhang, but not an extreme amount. But you do have to be uh, cognizant of that. Okay, the angle is uh, easy to find on this and maintain on this razor. So far, so good. Okay, let's have a little feel around. See how the first pass went. Not bad at all. And I had quite a bit of growth on my chin, on my uh, trouble areas. Not bad for a first pass. So I would say it's more than mild. I would say it's on the lower end of aggressive. given how much uh, I was able to take off here. So, let's go for a second lather and add some more water. This formula, this CK6 is really nice. Wow. The protection was wonderful on it. The glide was wonderful on it. So, this was my first uh, CK6. This would be a very good starter kit for somebody to use because it's got a quality razor. It's got a quality brush. I love this brush. And quality soap. Look at that. Look at that lather. Wow. Clear the snot track. And the lips. Let's go in with pass number two. I'm going to try to use my left hand. Okay, and let's do this side. Ouch, caught myself. User error. It's a nice little razor, and it's like I said, it's got very good grip on it. Pass number two. Let's have a feel around. The residual is very nice. My skin is very soft. And again, I felt very protected by the soap. Okay, very nice. I had just a few touch ups to do. 
I'm thoroughly impressed with this soap and the razor. All right, let's heat that blade up again. And let's go in with a final pass. to it even. Look at that lather. Wow. This won't be my last CK6 formula, that's for sure. How many of you have tried the CK6 formula from Phoenix? How do you like it? Does anybody have this starter kit that uh, was on sale over Christmas? It's still on sale. You can get this kit for $39.95, I do believe. And uh, you can choose your soap scent on it, so I will be posting, of course, the links for uh, for it uh, down below. So, let's do pass number three. Okay, now let's check out this residual slickness on it. A little bit soap here still, but I want to check the residual. No tugging. That's great. Okay, let's add just a little bit here, clean up this area. Look at how much soap that. Look at that. Talk about peaky. After this, I'm going to take a very luxurious bath and do my leg shave with it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I did do soap on my whole face just to keep it moisturized while I do the touch-ups. J hooking.
Okay, that's a wrap. Wonderful. Hold on, I'm going to rinse off and I'll be right back. That was one comfortable and pleasant shave. It sure did ward off the gloominess of the day here. Okay, let's let that water out and do a cold water rinse. My favorite. Okay. Now, you know I do my usual um, Barbasol cleansing too. I mean, not Barbasol, um, witch hazel. So to go with the rose that's in the soap, I'm using the rose petal witch hazel. And I'm going to take this cleanser and toner and get off the residual skin cells that might be left. You can even use it to do a cleanup pass and it works very well so let me rinse that off and just pat dry oh I forgot um, we had lost that one subscriber, which is no big deal. It uh, took us down to 287, but we're now up to 291. So we only have nine more to go before I hit 300 subs, and then I have a very nice giveaway. So stay tuned for any upcoming videos because you need to do that to find out how you can enter and win. So, let's use, like I said, the CAD Aftershave and Cologne. Always shake it up good. Great little starter kit. You get everything in here that you need. Everything. You, you can't want for anything else. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Um, I'm also going to be using Chatillon Lux um, Yuzu Rose and Patchouli. And with this, they recommend you add it to a liquid. So I'm adding it to um, that aftershave in uh, just a tiny bit. And I'm going to emulsify it together. This stuff is wonderful. I love the way it makes your skin feel. Oh, that aftershave. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, it smells so good. Good job. Good job, Douglas. Wonderful kit. Oh, what a great ending to a shave. Let me put my eyeballs back on. So, in conclusion, let's go over again what came in this kit. And that would be the S Symmetry Razor Straight Bar. And it would be the CAD uh, soap with a CK6 formula in it. It came with this great, uh, what do they call it, Green Ray uh, brush, Horsehair Synthetic with a, uh, it's called a triple, and it's a fan and a bulb combination, and we used the aftershave that came in it, and I also used the Chatillon Luxe, uh, Yuzu, Rose, and Patchouli Salve. I think that's all the things that I used in it. It's sure, oh, and the Shark Blade. Um, I was surprised that the Shark did as well as it did uh, in this razor. So, that was a good shave. Thoroughly enjoyed it, and I can't wait to go do my leg shave now. So, I don't think I have anything else to say other than if you're new to the channel, 
uh, and you haven't done so already, if you would pretty please subscribe to the channel. And uh, when you do, hit that little ding dong that's next to the subscribe button, and it'll let you know when my next video is posted. So welcome to She Shades with your host Jill, and I hope to see you all again. So I think that's a wrap, everybody. I'm looking around to see if there's anything I missed, and I don't think there is. So I'm going to say bye-bye. I'm going to go upload this, and we'll see you again in the next video. And you know, guys, I love you.